online reviewers are more likely to buy things of unusual sizes, make returns, get married, have more children, be younger and less wealthy, and have a college degree than the average consumer. Since most people do most of their shopping online today, they look to online magazines like Yelp to determine if a product is worth buying. Because your customers read and believe what they see about your company in reviews, it's important that they pay attention to what's being said about you online. While we rely heavily on online testing, it's important to analyze it to determine whether or not it's the real deal. And because we rely so much on online feedback, a single negative comment can destroy your brand. Because we read and rely on online reviews every day, companies no longer have the option of managing their reviews or not. For example, would you trust the opinion of someone who doesn't like seafood but visits a new sushi restaurant in town, or a guy who had a first date and got mad at the same restaurant? Probably not, because they have their own personal prejudices that will affect their grades. Online reviews remove our trust in our friends and family to recommend where to go, which restaurant to try or what to buy. About 20 of all online reviews are fake. Counterfeit ads are such a problem that warning sites like Yelp and TripAdvisor have taken several steps to counterfeit ads and trolls. Until then, we more or less assumed that we could believe everything we read in online magazines. We can still ask for their opinion, but we have access to many other options through online evaluations. It's easy to get so busy reading reviews that you forget to stop and think about who the reviewers are. In fact, 60 of people will not use a company with a negative rating.